Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about shoulders. I'm going to be giving you my tips and tricks and the exercises that I do that brought my shoulder up to a pro status. Guys, like I said, today we're doing shoulders. I'm going to be showing you my tips and tricks and also some of my little t secrets here and there that actually allow me to bring my shoulder up to the level that, I, that it is today. First of all, when you have to understand the shoulders, um, the shoulder muscle is what I call the three-headed monster. The reason why I like to call them the three-headed monster is because the shoulder has the front side of it, the lateral head, and the rear head. So in order for your shoulder to be fully completed, you cannot just build one or two. You have to build all three muscles together. So when you stand in front, the shoulder looks round from the front. You stand from the side, you can see the roundness of the lateral head. And also when you turn around, you can see your rear delt as well. So make sure you do all the exercises required for the shoulder muscles. Do not neglect, neglect any muscle. Just because you don't like working your rear delt, meaning yeah, I'm just not gonna do it because it's not my favorite muscle. Even if you don't like working the muscle, make sure you still spend some time because if you don't spend some time working those muscles, they're not gonna look good the way they're supposed to. Now, when it comes to shoulder exercises, there are building exercises for shoulders and there are also shaping exercises. Um, the building exercises are your presses. When I say presses, I'm talking about, um, it could be a machine press, it could be uh, dumbbell presses, it could be barbell presses, so all the exercises that you do that allows you to move heavier load or when we say heavier weight, those are the exercises that actually build mass in your shoulders. And secondly, we have shaping exercises. Exercises that actually allow you to shape your shoulders from the side and also from the rear. So make sure to remember this because not all exercises for shoulders are heavy movers and um, the, the presses are the heavy movers the lateral movement and the rear delts are the smaller movers. So understand the movement of the body and the function of the muscles before you start training them. So the exercise that I do, it varies. You know, I'll do presses, lateral, lateral, dumbbell lateral raises, I'll do front upright rows, I'll do rear delts. So right now I'm going to demonstrate one of the exercises that I do to help me build the size of my shoulders. And mind you, I'm doing these exercises at my home gym. I'm showing you these at my home gym. You can use various shoulder exercises at the gym if you want to. So today I'm gonna to be showing you, first of all, shoulder presses, dumbbell shoulder presses. So I set up my bar, my bench, pick up my dumbbells. So what I'm gonna do first is show you what I see in the gym. This is basically the improper form, the wrong way to perform this exercise. One thing I see when people come down, they're going up so fast, coming down up so fast, coming down up so fast. So while you, if you're doing it this way, you are only moving the weight. The muscles are not going to react because you're using aerobic movement for an anaerobic exercise. So when you pick up weights, the first thing you have to remember is allowing the muscle to perform the movement. So the proper way to perform this exercise is sitting straight up, Make sure you stabilize your body. And then make sure you angle your shoulders and your elbows on the same line. And then you press all the way up, squeeze at the top. As you're coming down, come down really slow. And make sure you don't drop your elbows too low. As you guys can see, the proper way to perform this exercise is keeping your elbows slightly forward. Not too back here, just slightly forward. And when you press, make sure you maintain the line you squeeze up top, come down really slow, controlling the angle. If you see the dumbbell is slightly in front of me because we try to build mass on the shoulders. So we drop, we're not trying to move it backwards. So we want to maintain your angle of loading. Go straight up, squeeze. As you're coming down, you want to control really slow. And I'm not coming all the way down here. We want to stop right here. The shoulder, I can still feel my shoulders up. Squeeze at the top, and then you come down really slow. Now, that is the proper way to perform a dumbbell press. Um, 
with sh for shoulders. You can use bars, you can use machines, you can use cables. Um, make sure you perform the exercise properly and make sure you control the load. Using what I've always said in the previous videos that I've done, time on the tension. Because the slower you're able to get the movement from point A to point B, the more muscle recruitment you're going to get. So the more muscle re recruitment you get, the more muscle you build. And usually when I do this exercise, I make sure I warm up properly. I start really low, do some ro shoulder rotation. So after warming up, when I get to my training weight, my goal is to get close to about 15 to 12 repetitions. And I do about four sets on the shoulder press. So um, every week is different. Some weeks I try to do uh, a drop set. You know, I do 15 for one and I go a little lighter, you know, from 20 to, th to, to 10, maybe to 15. Make sure you don't choose the weight that's going to make you use the wrong form. Always choose the proper way that's going to challenge you, but at the same time, help you keep your form. So this is what I do when, I, when it comes to the building exercises for shoulders. The next exercise is the lateral raises. So what I see when people do this exercise in the gym, lateral raises, I call there's something that I call the gym shuffle. When I see it, they always just move the weight and then use their body to swing the weight up, go back down swinging it up. They swing, you see what's going on here? There's no shoulder activation. I'm using my legs, I'm using my hips, using my back, using momentum. I mean, I can do 40, 30 repetitions of, this is only 12 pounds. But if you keep doing this, you're just gonna tire your body out. Your muscle is not gonna react. So what you wanna do is make sure, before you start, after you finish warming up, make sure you start by pulling the weight at least about that much away from your body. That is your starting point. So as you're going up, you wanna drag the weight up without moving your body at all. Squeeze at the top, come down really slow. So as you guys can see, if you guys focus on my shoulders, you can see what's going on. There are shoulders really reacting. I'm going really slow when I get to the top. I squeeze the muscle, do a little pause, and come down a little bit, and I'm going all the way down, right there. So in that position, my shoulder is still active. So I drag it back up really slow, really slow, really slow, squeeze at the top, and come down really slow. So the reason why I love using this technique is because once you come all the way down, you're resting. And then you come back all the way up, and you're swinging your body, you're resting. So I don't want to rest until the set is over. That's why I start right here, and then I finish right there on the bottom. So keep this in mind. Um, if you guys know that what I've said in other videos, our goal, when you guys, I've told you in other videos that I've talked about, giving you the information about, our goal is about building muscle, not lifting weights. We don't want to be weightlifters. I used to be a weightlifter. Back then, my goal is to lift as much weight as possible, but today, as a professional natural bodybuilder, my goal is to build as much muscle as possible. So if it takes 10 pounds or 12 pounds to do a lot of raises movement, to make sure my shoulders react the way I want it to, then that's what I'm gonna do. Like I said, with the shoulder press, I do about 15, sometimes 20 repetitions, depending on how I feel that day, and I'll do about four sets of that lateral raises. That will get your shoulders from the side, to help you shape your shoulders from the side. And that's what I do with my lateral head of my shoulders. For the rear delt, um, this is one of the most neglected muscle um, in the gym that I see. Most guys don't work their rear delt, so when they turn sideways, you can't even see their rear delt, the shoulder is not complete. So with this exercise, what I do is, I do rear delt, raise, uh, rear delt movement. So what I do is I pick up the dumbbell. So this is called rear delt, rows. So I start from the side again. What I do, I angle my elbows a little bit and I just I pull my elbows up, squeeze at the top, come down really slow. Okay, pull out the top, squeeze, come down really slow. So as you guys can see, I'm really using time on the tension. You can really see that tiny little muscle back there reacting because the rear delt is actually one of the smallest show, um, muscle back there 
where we rarely use those muscles. So we we'll squeeze that at the top. Well, what, what I see in the gym most of the time is guys doing this. Right now, I can't even feel my shoulders. I can't feel my rear down. All I'm feel, feeling my body jerking back and forth. Make sure you keep your body centered. Make sure you don't over swing or don't swing, even swing your body at all. You just want to keep your body stable and just make sure your rear delt squeeze at the top. Come down really slow. Point your elbows a little bit rear. Backwards, really slow. And then you pull and squeeze. So, this is one of the exercises that I do for my rear delt and like I said, I'm doing these exercises at home right now in my home gym, but when you go to the gym, there are a lot of rear, rear machines that you can use. You can use cable, cable from the top, from the bottom. You can even use the chest fly machines, sit face facing it and pull your arms back slowly. And this will help your rear delt develop a lot more. One more exercise that I do is this exercise, I actually created this exercise for myself. It's called palm together front raises. So what I do is I pick up a dumbbell, sit on the bench. I can do this standing or seated. So I put my palms together face down and I slightly lean forward and I pull my arms up really slow, squeeze at the top, come down really slow, kick my elbows, angle to the side. And as you guys can see, my front delt is really working right now. Really slow and pull with your shoulders and not your arms. Squeeze at the top, come down really slow, up and squeeze at the top, come down really slow. Make sure you're breathing coming down and then you exhale coming up. <sighs> squeeze. Now once again I do about 15 to 20 repetitions four sets. Um, so those are the exercises I do for my shoulder. Obviously if I'm in the gym right now, I'll be able to do other, do other variations or use other machines to show you this. But one key point that I want you guys to know is that you don't have to do all these exercises in the same order. Like let's say next week, if I come back next week, um, if I want to do shoulders, instead of starting with presses, I can start with my rear delt first. Uh, maybe the previous another week uh, from from that time if I want to start with shoulders I might start with lateral raises instead of starting with shoulder press or rear delt or front raises So make sure you you you're creative change it up every time because if you don't change it up You keep doing the same sequence every time um, Your shoulders will get used to it and then your progress is going to be stalled You're going to plateau and the goal is not to plateau the goal is to keep seeing results You know every single week so make sure you switch it up you know, do different shoulder exercises, machines, cables, move them around so that way your body keeps reacting when you bring a new action into your workout. And as I've said in previous videos, I'm sure you guys love these videos. I love the comments you guys have given me on, the, on our YouTube channel. Make sure you ask me any question. And any comment that you have, please send the comment below. Click the thumbs up button and let us know how much you love this program. And if you want to get the full program, Make sure you go on MiamiMuscleUSA.com and you get the full program. So, see you next time. I'll be showing another exercise. Thank you.